Hey everybody, I am going to make a big pot of stuffed pepper soup and I thought I would go ahead and do a video to show you in case you want to make some too because it is super delicious. Anyways, I'm going to start out here with just all the ingredients. Now no, I am going to make a super big pot. I'm actually making a double batch because I'm giving some of it away and I'm making a huge pot it's a big, big pot. This is my big soup pot. And um, so I will fill the pot. So know that um, if you're just going to make one batch, you probably need... Um, how many do I have? I think I have 12 green peppers here. So probably half of that. Maybe six, four, depending on how much you want in your soup. And I would probably do two cans of these tomatoes. But like I said, I'm doing a... A big double batch so so these are the ingredients I don't have a recipe that I write down so that's why I'm gonna video it so you could just watch how I make it I don't cook with recipes I just cook um, I know how much things to put in I don't know so let's start out you're gonna need green peppers and you're going to need ground beef I have five pounds here I'm probably only gonna use like two pounds if you're making one batch probably one pound depending on how many meatballs you want and I make them I make the meatballs little like wedding soup and you'll see that so anyways you're going to need ground beef um green peppers salt of course i use um garlic this is optional i don't put a lot in this but i do use one or two since i'm doing a double batch i'll use two um two of these cloves or whatever but you don't you don't need this if you don't like garlic some breadcrumbs for your meatballs um, these are the noodles that I use, that I put in the soup. They're, I call them BB noodles because they look like little BBs, but that's what they're really called. And Sini di Pepe. Um, if you don't want noodles in your soup, then you can use rice instead of noodles. But I put rice in my meat like you do for stuffed peppers, and I just prefer the noodles. It's more like soup. Um, okay, so that, and then I get... You can use whole tomatoes or I do the diced, petite diced tomatoes now that they have. And I have one, two, three, four, five cans of that. I like a lot of tomatoes in mine. And then get some beef broth. You can use bouillon cube or fresh stock or whatever, but these are pretty good. And then I have an onion. And the onion is optional too, but onions make everything taste better. All right, so that is your list of ingredients. Oh, and an egg. We're going to put uh, one or two, depending on how much hamburger, um, probably one or two eggs. I'm doing a double batch, so I'll probably use two eggs to put into my ground meat mixture. All right, let me set up my tripod, and I will start making the meatballs. I don't know if I mentioned you need also like one or two cans of tomato sauce. Um, you can use... I use tomato sauce because I'm watering it down with beef broth, but you can also use um, like V8, what is that, V8 tomato juice or whatever, because you don't want it real thick, but I'm going to make it with beef broth, so I'll be adding lots of water to it, so I just use sauce. I like, I think it tastes better. All right, so I didn't know if I told you that, but I actually lied. I'm going to put, I'm going to cut up my... Um, garlic and onions and put all my tomatoes products in the pan and this is all the garlic that I'm using two cloves and I'm going to chop that up and um, chop that with my onions and saute it in a little bit of oil and then I will add all my tomato products but I'm going to get everything opened up and so we can do it seamlessly okay so first thing I do is I chop up my onion which I already peeled and I peeled my two pieces of garlic um, my hands are washed, so don't worry. And I want to put that, I, I just cut it up and I put it in a bowl and then I have to saute it in some oil, so I don't want to do that while I'm cutting. And I'll just chop this really quick and the rest of the stuff I'll cut. But, uh, um, so you just want to dice up your onion really small. And I'm going to save this much of my onion for my meatballs. So I'll put that to side. So you just want them in little cubes like this. They're gonna cook down. You're not even gonna know they're in there. All 
And let me tell you a trick. I swear this works. When you're cutting onions and your eyes are watering really bad, and um, if you hurry up and stick your fingertips under ice cold running water, I swear to you, it, it stops your eyes from watering. I don't know what it is, but it works. Try it. All right, so I chopped that up, and I'm just going to give my garlic a quick chop as well. You can use a garlic press um, if you want. It doesn't have to be really small. It's just for flavor of your soup, and everything's better with a little garlic, right? So just a quick little rough chop on the garlic. It doesn't have to be really small. All right, so that's it. That's that. And let me go over to my pot. All right, so now what I do is I take some olive oil. I always keep some in a bottle right on my stove. And I'm pouring it in the bottom of the pot so you can see. I just want enough. There's a little bit of water in there from when I rinse the pot out. I just want enough to cover the bottom, not even an inch, just to cover the bottom so I can saute my garlic and onions right here. So I'll let that get a little warm. And this is hard because this is a big pot to show you, to film you. So i um, just going to hold the camera. So you don't want to walk away from this part because you'll burn your garlic. If you burn your garlic, throw it out and start over. It'll ruin everything. Burnt garlic is not good. So um, you want to watch it, saute it, and then as soon as it starts to just caramelize a little bit and flavor the oil, you don't have to really cook these onions because they're going to cook all day in this soup. You just want to like stir it around with the flavor. But as soon as I dump the tomato juice in there, the uh, not tomato juice, the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes, that'll stop it and keep it from burning. So you really want to watch this. Okay, I think my oil's hot now. So what I'm going to do is take my onions and the garlic, it's all right there, and dump it in right in my pan. You can hear it sizzling. And the smell is going to be fabulous. And you can't smell it. So you just want to stir that around a little bit. And you'll smell when the um, garlic starts to cook in there. It'll smell really good. And uh, you can hit it with a little bit of salt. But I'm not going to... Ooh, steaming up my lens. So yeah, let's hold it up here. So it's cooking in there, just sauteing a little bit. Stir it. Because it will burn quickly. Don't take your eyes off of it. So that's getting pretty hot. And if I wasn't videoing, I'd probably saute a little more, but I don't want to burn it. So it's going to be okay. So now I'm just taking all of my diced tomatoes, the cans. Like I said, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six cans of diced tomatoes here. And I'm just going to pour them all in. Don't strain them. You want all the liquid. So I'm pouring six cans in there. And I will pour the rest in because they're over there. Stir that up and now you don't have to worry about your garlic burning. Alright, so I'm going to pour all that in and then I'm going to make the meatballs and cut up my peppers. Um, so while this is cooking and starting to get nice and hot for us. Okay, so the tomatoes sauce is cooked. The diced tomatoes are cooking. I haven't added the broth or the sauce yet because I cut up all this stuff and then added accordingly. So now I washed all my peppers. I peeled all the little annoying stickers off. And I'm just going to cut one. And I actually will use all of this pepper. And I just peel the stem around and I will use that. And then you want to cut it up, clean out the inside. I just have a little bowl here that I throw everything in. All right, so I'm only going to chop one to show you in case you don't know how to cut a green pepper. But this is how I cut it. I just go down, make my slices, 
you don't want them real small because like I said, these are going to cook down. So I just slice them and then I'll cut them into little squares. Um, like that. So that's how you want that. And I will continue to cut all these up. And I, like I said, I have 12 green peppers here because I'm making a huge pot. So if you're only making a pot, if I make soup, I make soup big because I, I like to say that we always have leftovers, but really we don't because we will just eat the crap out of this. So there is the chopping of the green peppers. And I will continue to do that with all of them. And I put them right into the pot of soup. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll be back to uh, go through the meatballs. All right, so you can see I got all my peppers cut up and put in there. And it's very thick. This is not even soup yet. That's a lot. But I still got a lot of room in the pot. So now I'm going to make my meatballs. And then we will add the meatballs to this because it's going to rise it up and I'm using two pounds of beef I don't even know maybe even one and a half pounds I just have to see how many meatballs it makes and then I will add beef broth and the sauce to get it to the liquid consistency I want without overflowing my pan so yeah that's what it should look like really thick oh and salt we got to add salt and I don't know where my salt is because it should be sitting right here. There it is, hidden. All right, so what I do, and I know that you're gonna scream and cry because this looks like a lot of salt. I throw, it's really not, you throw your handful in. This is a lot of liquid and a lot of soup. I didn't salt my peppers or anything. So yeah, and then add accordingly. So. There you go, stir that up and we'll be right back. Okay, so now for the meatballs. I This is where I took this reserved onion and I put two eggs in my bowl already. Take this reserved piece of onion and what I do is this onion's gonna flavor the meatballs. This is how I make my meatballs. Um, and you're gonna grate it. You don't have to do this, you can chop it or you can just not even do this at all, but this is how I do my meatballs. And I grade the meatballs just like this. I mean the onion. And it gets the liquid out and it just mashes it up so you're not going to have big hunks. Because remember we're having, these meatballs are going to be little. So you don't need a lot. And don't cut your hands on the grater. I get it down as low as I can go. And I'll show you what that looks like. So all that liquid onion is coming out. That's what I have left over. I'm going to throw that in my pot. Cook it on the stove. So now I want to get all that out of there. All right, so this is what it now looks like. See how it just, um, it mushes it all up like baby food? Okay, so now I want to add some breadcrumbs. I get the seasoned because I like it better. Like I said, I don't measure. I'm just sprinkling in because I kind of know if I was to say, I'd probably say not even a half a cup. There we go. That's all I have in there, but I'm also doing two pounds of meat. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this tomato sauce that I already have open that I'm gonna be adding to that. And if I make regular meatballs, I add ketchup to this. I just give a good score to ketchup, but, cause I wanna make it moist and this is gonna help grind up my mixture to add my beef, my meat in. So basically what I'm doing and now we're going to give this um, some salt, maybe like a half a teaspoon or something of salt, if I'm guessing. I do things like that. 
and then I do it to taste. Now take your fork and mix this up, mix your egg up, get it into like a good, good paste. And sometimes I add Parmesan cheese. So, um, Parmesan or Romano cheese to this, but I'm not for this soup. Like if I'm doing other meatballs or something. So look at that. This is just a cool way to do your meatballs because it makes a paste and now it's going to evenly disperse through our hamburger. Um, and it mixes better and you're not getting any chunks. So I'm going to put that aside. I Like I said, this is a five pound package. I'm going to do two pounds. So half of this, that would be four. I'm just going to cut this in half. It's going to be give or take. And then the rest, I'll do a little less. I'm cutting this in half. So this is... That's about two pounds of hamburger, give or take. And I want to dump it right in my bowl there. I actually might put a little more. That's about two, maybe two and a half pounds there. And then take your ring off, and the best way to do this is with your hands. My hands are clean, and you just want to get that. Um, it's much easier with the um, mixture like that, so it's a good way to make meatballs. I actually learned that from Giada De Laurentiis. So just do that. I can't shut the camera off because my hands are in the hamburger, so you're just going to have to watch. But I get that so it's all nice and mixed, and then, which doesn't take long. I also, another tip, I like to have my ground meat anytime I'm cooking with meats, and my son taught me this because he actually works in a restaurant. You actually want to have your meat sit out on the counter and get room temperature. It cooks better. Um, so yeah, anytime I make meat or steak or anything, I always let it sit out like a good hour before I work with it or season it. All right, so that's really good and mixed and see how fast and easy that was. So now we're just going to make the little meatballs to go into our soup. And if you can see the palm of my hand, so you can just see how big they are. It's probably a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon of ground meat that I just roll into little meatballs. So that's the most time consuming part about making this soup or wedding soup. Um, I forgot to add the rice, see? Hold on. This is where you sprinkle your rice now into your um, meatball mixture. See, if I was making wedding soup, we wouldn't be putting the... So I'm... Let's see, that's one handful. Two handfuls of rice should do it. And then mix that throughout your ground meat. If you like more rice, I don't really like a lot of rice in my meatballs. I just like enough to give it that taste of stuffed peppers. Uh, I'm going to put another handful in. So. But remember, I'm making enough for an army. So. That was three handfuls of rice. And that looks pretty good. So now I take probably like what is that, a teaspoon, tablespoon, I don't know. And I just roll these meatballs small. And I guess you can make them bigger if you want. It's really a preference. It's just more like a soup, so it's easier to eat. You want it to be able to fit on your spoon. So I sit here and I do all that. I roll this whole thing, and then I'll be back to put it in the soup. As soon as I wipe my hands to shut off the camera. All right, so there's all the meatballs, all nice and rolled. And we're going to take them over and put them into the pot of soup. All right, there's a little someone who wishes she had a meatball, huh? 
Here's no meatballs for you. All right, so I put them in the soup and yes, they just cook in here all day. Where's my spoon? Kind of, they're kind of clumped up, but as soon as the liquid all gets in there, they'll separate. So don't kind of stir them too much right now. So now all we do is we're going to take this can of tomato sauce that I already have opened, dump it in there. And then now the broth. What did I do with it? Um, so far this is a 32 ounce, two pound beef broth. And I'm using the whole thing. And I will probably do a whole nother one. In fact, I know I'm gonna. All right, so I gave that a quick little spin. In about a half hour or so, I'm gonna turn this heat up just for a few minutes to bring it to a boil and then I just cook it on a very low simmer for a few a couple hours. Um, and then it's good to go. So let me add one more of that beef broth, hold on. All right, so I got another whole thing of broth and I'm putting it in there. And if that is still not enough, you can add water now. That's enough seasoning, I mean flavor. So, I just want to check. Yeah, I'm going to add more water to this because it's pretty thick with tomatoes. Because Now, don't forget, you can make it as thick or thin as you want, but I want more of a soup, and this is also going to get thicker as it cooks. So, you want it kind of liquidy. So, what I do is I just take my tomato sauce pan right here that I didn't rinse out yet. That's not soap, it's just the tomato bubbles. And I'm gonna do like two, two or three. And then I will let that cook for about, your meatballs probably take less than an hour to cook in there, plus they're small. So, I'm gonna, Stop it right there. So I did two cans of water because when I'm done and you cook noodles, now you don't have to add noodles to this. You can eat it as is, but I want noodles. Um, that's gonna raise it up. I might, I'm just gonna put a little bit more. You can always, if it's too thin, you can add sauce or whatever. So I'll do another half a can. And then salt and pepper this again. And that, my friends, is stuffed pepper soup. It is going to be delicious. I'll kind of show you the consistency now. Very hearty soup. All right, there it is. I will show you when it's all done. Bye-bye. All right, so it's four hours later from SpongeBob. Um, anyways, it's been four hours yeah because I had the soup on about one o'clock and it's five o'clock now I just shut it off this is how it looks and this pot is taller than me so this is how it looks so good delicious there's all the little meatballs and I'm cooking my pasta or the water's boiling for the pasta. I'm gonna cook it and then put it in there and then it'll be done. And I'm gonna eat it. And there you have it, a bowl of the finished soup, steaming hot. The noodles are in there. It's quite uh, thick, I mean not thick, chunky, rusticy kind of soup so there you go it is so delicious and today's like the perfect day for it too rainy damp and getting cold all right i hope you like that i hope you try it and um 
Let me know what you think. Bye.